everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my Disney 101 project plan. So this is one of my favorite products I do, and it's a blitz. So every single update, I will be adding five items, no matter how many I used up the pre for that update. And um, I'm going to keep it going until I have used up 101 items. So let me just check my little spreadsheet. Okay, so before today, I had used up 36 items, and I actually have four empties, which is I think the highest number of empties I've had the whole time. So I'm really excited about that. So um, for the movie Jungle Cat, I used up the Benefit Roller Lash. This was kind of dry when I opened it up, but that's okay. Um, got some good use out of it, and I do like that mascara. For the movie Treasure Planet, I used up this Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation. This is a good foundation, not my absolute favorite, um, but it's a nice one. And then for the movie Babes in Toyland, I used up a Mally Evercolor Shadow Stick. So this is a cream shadow. I really like it. I actually used it today, but it got to the point where I was scratching my eyelids to apply it. So I decided it was time to go. But these shadow sticks are my one of my favorite formulas. And then finally for the movie Beloved, I used up this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I used it, again, I finished it up today, but I have taking the stopper out there's nothing left in there so four empties pretty excited by that um i think that's some decent progress for this uh update so now let's go into what i am currently panning so for the movie rushmore oh gosh i have this giant stack of stuff that i didn't organize as well as i probably should have so for the movie rushmore i am panning this um besame cream blush this is where I was last time, sorry about that glare. And this is where I am today. So I've made a little bit of progress. It still weighs the same at 17 grams, so I'm not making um, any like weight progress, but I have been using it a lot. I feel like it's getting a little bit thinner. I use it pretty much every single day, so I know that I am making progress, just maybe not as quickly as I would like. Um, for the movie Howl's Moving Castle, I have the Galactic chic shine in star silver um and i know i've made some good progress on this so this does still weigh the same at 24 grams Ooh. apparently i didn't take a picture of it last time that's my bad but this is where i am today and i will say that last time i updated y'all late um so this has really only been like three weeks of progress but I have this whole area is cleaned out. I just have this little sliver. So I'm a couple of months probably away from using it up, but making progress. Next, I have hot lead and cold feet. And for that, I have the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And I'm working on the shade Shattered. So this is where I was last time. This is where I am today. So I've used up that little bit that was right here, just this tiny, tiniest bit. I will tell you that I, for my weekly product pan, I've been pulling a ton of eyeshadow palettes. So that means my eyeshadows haven't been making as much progress as I would like. But I do feel like I'm pretty close to using this guy up. For the movie Real Steel, I have the Pacifica eyeliner in the shade Gunmetal. Oh, here it is right here and if you check my progress it's gone down just a smidgen on my sheet of paper but again i have been using it it hasn't lost any weight but i use it every day in my inner rim so hoping hoping to get some more progress on that then for the movie avengers this is the girl on meteorites and it has lost a gram of weight so i use this every day to set my face i do think it does a lot and i really like the way it looks so I'm excited um, that I'm making some like actual progress on that and it's lost a gram. Next, we have the movie Race to Witch Mountain. And for that, I have the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. I have this topping my line today. Um, yeah, I mean, I used it probably two or three times. I love this glitter liner. It's really opaque and nice and... I just think it's great. It is slow going because I'm not going to like force myself to use any of these products. I like to project pan just to make sure that I am getting some use out of them. But I'm not that person that's just going to wear these every single day and ignore the rest of my collection. I don't like that. Um, but I do really enjoy this and I'm having fun using it. Next, um, for the movie Three Men and a Baby, I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And you can see for that white peach shade, I had a big dip in it last time. 
and I still have a pretty nice dip in it. It's right there. It's not completely used up by any means, but it's got a dip and I know that that is some progress. Um, I haven't been using this as much as I want, but I'm hoping I can hit paint on it pretty soon. I do like this palette. Next, for the movie Apocalypto, I have the Milani Speed Dry uh, Nail Polish. That is what's on this finger. It's a really nice, very opaque black, so I don't need that many coats of it. Um, and it has get, stayed the same, so it weighs 41 grams. So I just had to, all right. Next, for the movie Tombstone, I have the Orly Rubberized Gel Bonder. So I'm over halfway finished with this, which is exciting. Anytime I paint my nails, I use this as a base coat. Um, and it's actually gained weight. It went from 52 to 53, which is a little bit of a bummer. But it happened, so you know, we're just gonna keep going with what we have. Next, for the movie Johnny Tremaine, I have the Alice in Wonderland Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. And let me just show you. This is where I was last time. That's where I am today. So maybe, I don't know how to get rid of that glare. Maybe slightly bigger pan. I do use this a lot. It's my favorite green eyeshadow. Um, so I've really enjoyed playing with it. Next, for the movie House Guest, I have the Giorgio Armani A-line contour. This is the cream contour I use every day. Once I finish this cream contour, I don't it's the only like liquid cream contour I have, and I don't think I'll purchase another one. Um, but this still weighs the same at 29 grams. I did feel like I was getting pretty close to using it up, but now I feel like I have a bunch. So I don't know, and I can't really see any progress on it, but I use it every single day. Next, for the movie uh, Peter Pan, I have the Marsk Mineral Eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Frosting. So this is a a pigment that I like to use as my inner corner highlight and this does really well I absolutely love this shade and I feel like I'm getting kind of close to using it up so maybe a month or two and this will be gone then for the movie Freaky Friday I have Sephora's mini world and color palette now I will say this palette's gained a gram but I know I've used it quite a bit because this was actually my weekly product pan item one week which means that for the whole week I went into this palette and it's the only one I used and I also used it as my bronzer, contour, and highlight. So this is where I was last time. This is where I am this time on this Miss Mini shade. I used it all over my lid twice. I really liked that look and I've definitely made some progress on it. So that's exciting. And like I said, it uh, actually gained a gram, which sucks, but you know, happens. Then for the movie, I'll be home for Christmas. I have the Sally Hansen nail polish in Wind Up. And you can see I'm like right there. Now obviously the bottle is getting bigger, but I've made some progress. It's right here on this finger and has it lost any weight? It has not. It still weighs 48 grams, but it, I know I'm making progress. And that's good enough for me to know that I've been using it because I know if things aren't in a project pan, they could be getting ignored for a really long time. So I know I've used it and that's what matters. Next, for the movie Barfi, I have this Ulta Beauty Brow Gel and the sh or Brow Tint, I'm sorry, in the shade Deep. This, I feel like I'm so close to using up. I took out the stopper and, you know, I take it out and then I kind of wipe off this excess. I don't know, I thought it'd be gone this month, but it's not. So I'm not going to just throw it away just because I want it to be gone. I'm going to keep on using it. But I do like the way it looks in my brows, but it can get a little crazy sometimes. So I have to be really careful with it. Then I have the movie um, Guardians of the Galaxy, and for that I have the Lorac Cheek Palette. Um, so I have, let me show you, this you can't really tell, my, unfortunately my picture for this is not great, but I have a little bit, I'm working on the shade Fortune right here, and I have a little bit of a dip in it, I was, I'm hoping to hit pan pretty soon. These pans are kind of shallow, but at the same time I don't use that much highlighter, so Maybe not, but I am using this. I still really love this palette. I think it's great. Next, um, I have for the movie The Lonesome Cougar, something from the Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette. This palette has gotten some love. Um, in the past, it was my pan that palette, but I'm working on this black shade called Swept Up. You can see that's where I was last time. Here I am today, so not a ton of progress. I don't like these. I like to use these black shadows as like, an eyeliner and that's pretty much it um, but you know like I said getting use out of it that's what I want to do um, 
Then I have for the movie Chicken Litter, Little the cream the ColourPop cream gel liner in Exit. I use this to as a base for my inner corner highlight. And I've been making really consistent progress. Just ch -ch -ch, very consistently. Use it every day. I like it. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And then for the movie um, Cars 2, I have the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Bronzer. And I really thought I'd be done with this. But just, with, like I said, with my weekly product pan, and that's what takes priority, I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I wanted. Just, you know... You can tell just a little bit, but still, um, I'm hoping I can have this done maybe next time. That would be great. And then that would be a whole bronzer out of my collection, which would be really exciting. Now, for the movie The North Avenue Irregulars, I have this Essie Gel Shine Top Coat. Great top coat. Oops, sorry. Um, and how much does it weigh? Um, it weigh it's lost a gram. It's lost, so it now weighs 53 grams. Excellent. Then for the movie Those Callaways, I have the um, NYX HD Concealer in Green. This is getting really low. So it's getting, I'm thinking I'm going to take the stopper out of this really soon, which is good. But you know, once you take the stopper out, it can last for a really long time. But this uh, has not lost any weight. It still weighs 17 grams. Then for the movie The Horse Whisperer, I have the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Setting Spray. I also thought this would be gone, but it's not. I still have about here, which is great because once this is used up, I have to buy a new one, so I don't necessarily want to use it up super quickly. Um, but this has lost nine grams, so it went from 75 to 66, so obviously I've been using it quite a bit. Then for the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I have this RCMA No Color Powder. With the foundation I'm using right now, I don't need to powder my whole face, so I just use this under my eyes, and that's good enough for me. Um, yeah, I've made some progress, um, but it hasn't lost any good weight. It still weighs 103 grams, and this is a huge package of powder, so I feel like that's going to last me a very long time. Then for the movie Run, I have the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I've used this quite a bit, um, and it has lost some weight, I believe. Yeah, it lost a gram. Um, it I can't, it doesn't settle like it lives sitting up but it never settles down so I don't really know where I am as far as in the bottle but I've been using it a lot then next I have the movie African Cats and for that I have um, a shade from the Balm Balm Joby palette I think I've used this twice um, so there it was last time I had a little bit of a dip again it's hard to tell in these pictures when they don't have pan but it still doesn't have pan, um, but there's a little bit of a dip. I use it, when I use it, it's very powdery, so maybe I'll be hitting pan really soon because I do, it's not gonna take that many uses to hit pan. And then for the movie, The Light Between the Oceans, I have the Jack Black Lip Balm. I use this every morning. I always expect it to be like losing a bunch of weight, but it hasn't. It still weighs 11 grams, so there's that. It is really thick though, so again, I think it's heavy, but I guess not. Then for the movie Deception, I have the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Perfume. I love this perfume, but I don't think they make it anymore. John also really likes it, which is unfortunate um, because, again, they don't make it. But I'm pretty close to using that up. I'm confident that that will be gone next time. Then for the movie What's Love Got to Do With It, I have the Bite Beauty. Oh, gosh. The Bite Beauty Lip Liner. I like this lip liner, but it doesn't. St the lid doesn't stay on at all, which may be why they don't make it anymore. But I've made some good progress from there to there, and I like it. Like I said, it's good color. Then for the movie, ooh, where am I? Oh, Gus. I have the Sally Hansen Nail Polish and Sizzle and Saffron. It's still really near the top. I haven't really been feeling these bright yellows, but it, now that it's getting into spring, I might be using this more frequently. For the movie I Am Number 4, I have the Sonia Kashuk Eye Quad. This has lost a gram, so now it weighs 41 grams. And you can see I have a nice dip in this shade. Um, I actually have it right now under my lower lash line. I'm not sure it's picking up, but it's beautiful. Um, so there you go. I do really like that. Then for the movie um, Grey Fair Bobby, which I saw is on Disney+, Plus, so maybe I'll check that out. Um, I have the Fenty Fly Liner. Used it today. It's a great eyeliner. Then for 101 Dalmatians, I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I did take a picture of this, but I know I've only used it once, so there's really no sh point of showing you. I'm working on this Anaheim shade, but it did lose a gram. 
So I don't know, it must've been borderline. Um, so this now weighs 276 grams. Oh, and the Fenty eyeliner also lost a gram. So you can tell I'm using stuff. Then for the movie Fire, and, sorry, Planes, Fire and Rescue, I have the ColourPop Satin, Ultra Satin. I've used this a ton, um, but it hasn't lost any weight. But again, I know I've used this a ton, so that's good. For the movie Captain America Civil War, I have the Nicole by OPI, You're Still the One. You can tell it's really close. I've used it all over my nails once, um, and then I have it on today on my thumb and pinky. It has lost a gram of progress product so maybe it is getting really thick too so this might be going sooner rather than later and the last product that I'm already working on is the cat from outer space and for that I have the NARS lip gloss in the shade orgasm you can tell it's about right there and I have already had to take the stopper out of it so it's kind of goopy but I do like to use it and it's lost two grams probably a lot of that weight was the stopper so let's really quickly get into the weights or get in and draw five new movies. So, let me see. Here we are. Um, first movie is 308. I'm not going to show y'all. Y'all should trust me that I'm not just making up numbers. All right. 308. And I feel like it's really awkward to show y'all. Oh, wait. So, this movie came out in 1994. And it's called Quiz Show. It's not very helpful, is it? No, it's not. Um, so quiz show does remind me of Jeopardy, which is a show that we like to watch a lot. Um, so I don't know Jeopardy when I think Jeopardy, I think blue, um, because that's like the background color. So I'll pull in a new primer that has a blue packaging. So this is the Maybelline master prime hydrating primer. Next, let's get a new number and that's 125. I, I, again, I say this every time, but I don't know so many of these movies. I am lax on my Disney knowledge. Um, this is the movie Gus, which we already are working on, so I'm gonna draw a new one. 719, a more recent movie. I don't know, theoretically, that might mean I know it. 719, Dangle. Dangal, it's from Disney India, so that's probably why I haven't heard of it. Um, when I think of India, though, I think of, like, um, like the bangles and the saris that have a lot of gold, shot, like, um, sequins or things on them. So, I think for that, I'm going to actually do another gold uh, cream eyeshadow. And this is the Maybelline ColourPop Tattoo. I have hit pan on it, but there's still a lot around the side. So, we'll see how long that lasts me. So, new number. Uh... 673 673 is the fifth estate no idea that's a touchstone movie from 2013 um so five okay um i guess i have five fingers and i'm only doing four polishes so i can pick a fifth polish that seems to make sense to me. Um, so I'm actually going to pick a purpley one. I'll go with the Sonia Kashuk nail color in the shade, oops, Sweet Dreams. They don't make these anymore, but these are really nice nail polishes. I like them a lot. All right, new one. 574. It's easier when I have a lot of empties, it's easier to think of products because I don't feel like I just have to keep piling on. Um, that's the movie Apocalypto. Again, we already have one, so I'm going to draw a new one. 247. Oh, got a little overzealous. That is the movie Sister Act. Okay, so that, um, has Whoopi Goldberg, and they wear, uh, like, abbots and stuff, you know? They're, uh, sisters, and they're nuns. And so I'm going to do something with black packaging. Or that's, it's actually, it's a black item, sorry. The packaging isn't black. Um, for their abbots and I'm gonna use this mascara so I've been using it since I finished up the roller lash so might as well get credit for it this is the Clinique high impact mascara not sure how I feel about it I was really excited to try it but again as I talked about my empties my mascaras are kind of old so could just be that it's gotten old and we have number four let's go all the way to the top 
That is the movie The Reluctant Dragon, which is not the same as Peach Dragon. Um, so there you go, The Reluctant Dragon. Uh, I don't know what, let me see what color The Reluctant Dragon is. Reluctant Dragon, just for our own knowledge. Okay, it's this like greeny dragon right here. Um, well, I, I know what I want to pan, but I can't, it doesn't really make sense because I want to pan this new concealer I got. But I feel like I need to do something that's kind of greeny for the dragon, you know? Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull in this blush, which is the Balm Springs blush, because it's got some green packaging. Um, it's a little mini blush, but these things last forever. So that's what I'll do. So those are my five items. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Um, this was a pretty quick update, which is good because some of these get really long. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.